Hi, um, I'm Dr. Elena Sandovici, and I am here with world famous artist John Ross Palmer. He is going to tell us about his new Opus series. Um, John, what does Opus mean? So, uh, first of all, thank you very much, Elena, for coming in to help me explain this series. Um, opus means in Latin work. And a lot of times they use it in music for a single work of music, which becomes the opera when there is plural. And so the series is a lot that makes one big work. So that's the premise behind it. And this is the follow up to the completion of the Satori series as of 2019. I've heard of Satori. Satori is quite prestigious. And those works were, I mean, they're just breathtaking. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to do for Opus. So thank you very much for that. Yes, that is a very prestigious uh, group of collectors. So the group of collectors will now be called Satori Opus. And for the new series, I want to go to very gestural, minimal, lots of open space. A great friend, uh, Laura Parkin, recently told me how much joy she has looking at my pieces with a lot of open space. This gives you so much room to interpret and make the piece really your own. So she was really a lot of the inspiration for this series. Oh, that's awesome. So tell me a little bit also about the people. I mean, I see people's names behind you and sorry, I'm moving the camera a little Just bit. Just don't mess it up, Elena. Just you know. to, I mean, I know the attention should be on you, but I <laughs> well. mean, some of these people, tell us a little bit about the story here about these people supporting you and is there going to be something similar for Opus? Good. Yes, good question. So um, this is the collector's wall that was built in 2008 for people that helped support where I was at that point in my career and to help build this building. And for people who participate in Opus, there is the new collector's wall that is going to be constructed in the chrysalis. It'll be the very end of the building, so it's gonna be huge, nine foot tall. And again, people who participate will be included on that wall and will be included in the next book on all the importance of this series Opus. So there's going to be a book. That's cool. I also heard something about the Library of Congress. What's that? Oh, Atlantic. God, these are such great questions. I'm so happy. So um, this is, as I said, a very significant series in my life. It will be my next legacy series. So it will start with the pieces now and will complete in 20 years. So if you don't collect one now, you have to wait 10 years for the next series and then 10 years for the next. So it will be cataloged in 2022 at the Library of Congress for a significant part of my career. That is really cool, John. That's, that's quite VIP. Um, so um, what else do you want to tell us about this that I haven't asked you? Um, I just want to be sure that bears now over two minutes because I know you like to make it longer than it doesn't download on people's it's computers. It's three minutes now. And they can't watch it. Thanks, Elena. It's no, I'm just minutes. kidding, Elena. So that's it. It's a very significant series. You have to be a part of it. I will be reaching out to you personally um, with a little handwritten note because I'm not good at email, but I'm learning. I want you to come see Opus. Actually, you really sent good. me an email this morning and I, I kind of like, I was worried. Like I was worried your account was hacked. It was. I'm not John. This is not me. This is not me. And I don't have a mask, so you better turn the video off.